Nerds, welcome to the studio. My name is Katarina Giglio. Um, everybody calls me Kat. If you're new to our channel, I want to thank you so much for subscribing, for all your comments, and for sharing. We really appreciate that. All your thumbs up, too. Thanks a lot. We appreciate every single one, and I love getting your comments. Today, we are back from our month long trip to Europe, and what I want to share with you is um, my my travel journal and I'm just putting the finishing touches on it so I wanted to flip through it with you and share some things um, and I also have a uh, the um, antique um, the antique album pages that I want to share with you I'm going to show you the technique uh, I saved the last two so that you could see how I put the photogra photographs together so I'm gonna share that with you right now I was really happy with the way that this old uh, antique uh, journal album, photograph album, um, behaved on the trip. It did really well. Um, I was less unhappy with all the little ribbons that I put on the front. And in fact, the very first time I started writing and working on it, they went away. And uh, I, I did the charms on the outside instead of the inside because they drove me crazy too. But I really um, I liked keeping a few charms on there. So uh, I just went with this really simple little uh, tie and um, I like the way that that turned out um, it was consistent with my black and white theme which was kind of Frenchy and going on and I've decided that I really wanted to put to mount this on the front too so I'm gonna share with you today how I do that and uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna put in here for words this is an uh, antique um, it actually had a, a person's name at the top and then some ribbons. Um, that's what it would have had, but it doesn't have that anymore, obviously. So I'm going to clean this up and take the, the uh, date out, which is really cool in and of itself, but I don't want it for this. Um, and so we're going to take that out and I'll show you how I'm going to mount it. Um, at the end. But, so I wanted to share with you, oh, one tip I wanted to share with you. Everyone always asks me, um, where do you get all those cool papers that you use in your work? And so what I wanted to share with you is that when I travel, um, I go to, um, like I went to Shepherds, which is a really cool paper store in London, and they had a scrap pack, so I bought a bunch of scrap papers. Um, and then, of course, um, I also use the bags um, that come, you know, all the different things I buy. I, I keep the bags, and I, I use the bags for um, collage. And um, then also I have my, my dear husband, your wonderful videographer, um, rip up posters so I get poster pieces. Um, and, um, and then periodicals, so this French um, magazine and um, this Italian newspaper and then more bags. So there's a little tip. So everywhere I go I'm always looking for papers. Um, my husband already knows me by now. He saves all kinds of menu things and all kinds of paper bits. So, all right, so here we go. So opening it up, um, here's the uh, inside. If you remember, I put um, all my pertinent information in case it got lost, and this was for um, lots of goodies. So I have a bunch of different um, tickets and things in here and um, business cards, place where we ate, Lulu Diner, um, and then Paris. So if you remember, I did, um, I did um, tabs for each place that we were going to visit. And so that worked out really well. And as you can see, I decided to stitch them down so that they wouldn't come apart. So that, that worked out great too. So I'm gonna just go flip through here. So Paris, um, and then notes and writing about um, what happened. Um, here's an antique um, map with uh, uh, really close to where we stayed in the Eiffel Tower. And then um, little tickets on the metro that I poked in there because we did the metro. And of course, this covers up more writing, which I love doing that. Um, went to uh, this fabulous paint store 
in Paris and bought this wonderful little paint set, which I absolutely adore, travel paint set, um, watercolors. And uh, watercolors isn't my medium, but I like playing with, uh, with them when I'm on a trip. I like doing something that isn't expected. You know, it's unexpected. And now, of course, I'm going back through. I used a glue stick, and you can see where it had come up. And now I've been going back through, and with uh, gel matte medium, um, I'm, I'm poking everything down. I'm, I'm gluing it all down so that it will stay. Um, and this was the uh, Monet's, if you saw our video um, in, in, at the museum, um, Monet's Masterpieces, which um, I absolutely adored and that was on my list to see. Um, I just loved it and I hoped you enjoyed it too. Uh, and then from there we went to, um, to Tuscany and we went to Florence, Italy and um, it was absolutely gorgeous. I love these little um, tip-in pages. Um, this was uh, from a brochure, and then this is a, uh, a watercolor image of the hillside where we stayed, which was absolutely magnificent, um, and some little bit of collage work, and uh, took it from lunch to remind me of what a great meal it was and I wrote about how beautiful it was in Siena. It was a lovely day and then um, Mercado Central. So I saved the brochure from that to write about it because it was really a lovely, um, a lovely trip, lovely visit and fabulous food. And then uh, we were in Florence and we went to the Uffizi and we saw this magnificent um, Michelangelo piece. So I had to put this on here. Um, and then, uh, of course, the Leonardo visit at the Uffizi was oh, so magnificent, really wonderful. If you haven't seen that video, check it out because it's absolutely, it's a, it's a gorgeous um, room that they've created for the Leonardo pieces. And um, so then I just, uh, we went to Zeki Arts, which was just a fabulous, um, fabulous store and uh, next time I go I'm gonna buy I'm gonna splurge and buy this huge um, watercolor set that's made with honey so I'm, I'm really looking forward to that um, and then of course here is the uh, this is the um, the album um, uh, sheets that I put together and then put the photographs. Um, this is of me and my friend Jo Archer, Joanne Archer. She's of the Crow Road and um, we've been um, blogger friends for 10 years and I couldn't wait to meet her. And of course this is your very handsome videographer with me at the Victorian Albert Museum. And this is how I put it together. Um, I glued it together and then put the pictures inside and I'm going to show you um, how I did that uh, as we get closer in the book. Uh, there are I left one of them open so we can show, share that technique with you. So this is um, tracing papers and I, I love putting them over. I just think it has a wonderful feel. It also helps obscure writing. Um, so we went to the photography center, which was absolutely magnificent. And we saw the uh, Frida Kahlo show, Making Herself Up, uh, which was uh, really outstanding. This is just a little piece of, um, collage work that I did. And you have to remember, um, for 14 days I was on a moving ship, so things aren't straight. And you know what? It's really okay because it's your journal and it's your travel journal and so it doesn't have to be perfection. It's supposed to be about exactly what was going on in your trip. Uh, writing about shepherds and what a fantastic uh, book binding and supply store it was and all the great um, pieces that I got. and. Uh, I still have work to do. You can see there's a photo here I want to put in, um, in of London. And then we went, uh, we got on the ship and we were sailed for seven days um, at sea. And so um, that's what these pages are about. And um, they, um, these are bits that I saved from that excursion and it was a rather rough sea so I did some watercolor um, pictures about how uh, rough it was. 
Uh, and then we went to Boston and I lived there 40 years ago, some 40 odd years ago. And so it was just wonderful for me to see the old state house and to see um, um, Faneuil Hall and Quincy Market, all these places that I went to when I was much younger. Uh, then we went to New York. We were there for a couple of days. And like I said, the sea, it was kind of uh, rough seas and uh, really kind of blustery. We went to um, a museum and we visited with a couple of friends there. Um, and I've still got pages here that I'm going to finish. And then this worked out really well. I have all these little bits in here. Um, Uffizi, Uffizi cards, um, immigration tickets, um, general admission tickets from a museum, um, lots of different wonderful pieces, um, different stores that we went to. And of course here I'm going to show you how to put those photos in here and how to cover the pages. Uh, we went to Bermuda and it was windy and cold in Bermuda and um, the le very last place we were supposed to go was Nassau, but we got bumped off that because the seas were so rough and there was such a storm. And so I decided to use the pages that I was saving for Nassau for Stonehenge. And that worked out really well to give Stonehenge its own pages because it was a place that I have long wanted to see. And I was absolutely fascinated by it. It was just magnificent. So, flipping back through, I'm going to share with you how I put my photo in here, and then we'll finish off the front. All right, so the technique that I used for doing this is uh, I just uh, printed off uh, some photos that we, uh, that we took in Boston of the Boston Common, and uh, it was just such a glorious day, and so I really wanted to capture that and put it into um, the travel journal. Uh, we walked through the common, and it was just so lovely and so beautiful and in full November color. So um, I have a couple of these, and I've got to decide which ones I want to put in. And then uh, when we went to New York, um, also, I got to see the Statue of Liberty the same way my grandmother did when she came to America, which was really cool. Um, to see that. I, I can't even tell you how exciting that was for me and to realize that we had the same experience so many years later. So I, I wanted to put that one in the back here. And um, so what, what I'm going to do is to finish it first, we're going to start with um, covering the outside. Um, now if you make a mistake and you decide you get all gung-ho and you um, you take your pictures and you print them off and you poke them in there and then you have them all glued together um, and, and you, you realize you haven't done it, you can do it afterwards, but it's, it is a little harder to do it that way. So I'm going to share with you how I did it. And the way I did it is I didn't use the whole piece of paper because I wanted it to have more of a rustic look, which you know me, I like that. So I just kind of ripped it. And, um, and then I glued it down. <laughs> I know it sounds crazy, but we're going to actually cut it out here just like this. So we're going to glue it down and I need my gloves. So I've got my gloves and I'm just going to put this down here like this. off by painting because these old albums and first thing I did was I washed it because they're they're pretty gross these old albums so I'm just going to um, use this little knife to cut it out simple and I'm really not worrying about I 
because it's just so gentle. I'm not really worrying about it. Just using my X-Acto knife, my little knife edge. And I'm going to make sure this is really glued down before I go ahead and start to shave it off. Okay, then I can just slightly hit the edges with my sanding sponge. And now we'll wait for that to dry and we will paint it. One thing I meant to share with you is, uh, you know, when you're working on finished work that you want to use a, a piece of uh, wax paper to, uh, to cover up and to protect your other work. And then I wanted to share with you the way I size the, the photos that I print out on the home printer. Um, so I just use this as a viewfinder. It's, it makes an actual, you know, really great viewfinder. I'm just going to find the view that I want in the photo and then I'm going to size it to fit. Then the other thing I want to share with you too is another little tip is that, um, you know, the uh, sanding sponge works great for the edges, but on the inside you want to use uh, just a nail file. And so you can get a, a really nice finished edge by using a nail file. Okay, I've sized my photos and I've glued them in. It's still a little wet. That's okay. Um, what I'm doing now is I'm gluing the edges down and I have a piece of mixed media paper that I have cut to place and sandwich in between so that you can't see through because it's just printer paper, right? So you want to have a nice sandwich in between there. And I'm going to make sure I've got a nice glue adhesion going on. All right, so now that I've got that glued together, I want to make sure the edges are completely glued with gel medium. There we go. Okay, so now I have this sandwiched. And I'm going to use my trusty clothespins. You could use any kind of whatever you want, but we have lots of clothespins around. They're great for keeping potato chip bags together <laughs> once you open them. So we're going to let this dry. We're going to come back and I'm going to put a few finishing touches on and then we're going to do the cover. Okay, so this is how it came out. And uh, I'll probably go over the photos with a little bit of gel matte medium just to seal them. And this is the back side with the Statue of Liberty and I really like it. I think I might add a little more white paint to it and maybe sand it a little, but I'm pretty, pretty sure it's done. That's pretty close to being done. Anyway, so, okay, onto the front, we're going to we're going to work on this little piece here. And I found um, some letters and we're gonna glue those down. We're gonna take this last guy off and then we're going to secure it, I think, right about there. Great. I'm using E6000 to glue this down. And there's a link in the comments below if you want to get E6000. And this is going to take 24 hours to set up. So I've got to just leave it just like that. Here's the glue I used. And I love the way it came out. I think it looks so cool. Stay. Be good and stay. Okay, won't touch it anymore. Now we'll leave it alone. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed the travel journal and the finishing touches and seeing the flip through. Um, I really enjoyed working on it. And next time, uh, we're going to be working on a little mini book. Um, I've been, I have this idea in mind for uh, a book that you don't have to stitch. So uh, we're going to we're going to 
we're gonna play with that and next time I see you we'll be making a little book so until then ciao for now